Hi, I'm Mark, and in this lesson we're going to look at the intro solo played by Peter Green on It Hurts Me Too, uh, as recorded by uh, John Mayles' Blues Breakers. So, why should you bother learning to play this particular solo? Well, I'll give you four good reasons. Number one, it's an eight-bar blues, and therefore is less common than a 12-bar. So, if you want to look at learning an eight-bar blues, this is a really good example. Number two, the licks are really simple. So, if you're a beginner, ideal tune to learn. If you're a more advanced player, then all it means is you'll pick them up really, really quick and easy. Um, number three... It's very melodic. It doesn't use minor pentatonic. It's much more kind of mixolydian based. So if you want to get some more kind of melodic playing into into your playing, uh, these are great licks to use. And fourthly, it's Peter Green, so you might as well learn it. It's going to be great. Okay, so after that, um, the way the video is going to work is I'm going to play the solo uh, as an example, and so you'll see it close up, and then I'll take it apart and we'll play it slowly, break it down for you with some tab and show you the licks one by one. So, here's the solo. So there's the intro solo there. Um, before we break it down and start going into the licks one by one, I just wanted to say, um, please check out my other YouTube videos, leave me some comments, uh, likes, all that kind of thing. Uh, kind of just gives me a bit of encouragement because nobody pays me to do this. Um, and if you really want to support me and you like the videos that I'm doing, you want me to do more, uh, please consider buying one of my albums, Northbound. Um, I'll put some links, northbound.org.uk. The album's called Wish I Was Home. It's uh, 11 tracks of original acoustic blues. And yeah, please uh, support me and the band by um, yeah checking out the album. Uh, anyway, on with the lesson now. So um, Lick One goes like this. Okay, really nice and simple, nice and easy. What we're actually doing is we're just outlining... Um, a D chord, so the chord progression's in the key of D, eight bars. Uh, and I should say also, there's a backing track to accompany this, so you can practice these licks over the so over the backing track, and then you can kind of invent your own licks as well. Um, I'll put links to that. So um, yeah, so lick one, um, really slow, goes like this. So we're starting on uh, the twelfth fret of the D string. Then we're going 11th fret of the G, 12th fret of the G, 10th fret of the B string. Four notes, really simple. Okay, lick two, goes like this. So we're going to start on 10 on the B string, and then we're going to hit 13 on the B, bend up to 15 and back down, and then pull off back to the 10 on the B. So, so far we have this. Then we're going to hit 12 on, on the G string and then move that up to 14 on the B. Sorry, 14 on the G. So, nice and slow we have this. Okay. Now, actually on the record, listening to it, he might be doing that as a bend rather than as a slide. I like it as a slide, but you choose whatever suits you best. Okay, so that's lick two. Uh, lick three, I love this lick. This goes like this. Really nice and bluesy. We're getting the um, the flat five in there. Sounds great. Um, nice and slow, like this. So we're starting on the, the root note, which is D on the 12th fret of the, 12th, of the D string. And then we're jumping to 10 on the top E. 
So we're playing an octave. And then we're coming down to the G string and we're playing 13, slide down to 12 and then off to 10. So, so far we have this. And then we just end by playing 12 on the D string. Okay. And then um, lick four goes like this. Only uses two strings and only uses two frets. Really nice and easy. We're starting 12th fret A string, sliding up to uh, 14. And then what we're doing is we're hitting 12, 14 up on the D string. So, so far we have this. And then we're going back down to 14 on the A string before hitting 12 on the D. So slide 12 to 14, then on the D string, 12 to 14, then A string 14, and then D string 12. Nice and slow. Okay, lick five um, goes like this. Okay, so we're on 10th fret on the B string to 10th fret on the top E. And we do that twice, so we get this. Okay, and then we get grab uh, 12 on the top E and just bend it up a whole tone. So the whole thing slow goes like this. Okay, so lick six goes like this. And what we're doing is we're playing 10 on the B string, um, 12 on the top E, bending up to 14, and we do that twice. And then 10 on the top E to 10 on the B. So I'm not exactly sure what he's doing on the record. Um, he might be doing it like this. Which is how I've done it, or he might be doing it more kind of, which is just hitting it without rebending it. I'm not sure. You'd have to listen to the record and figure it out and just do it your own way anyway. Okay. Um, so then that brings us up to lick seven, and um, lick seven goes like this. Okay. So. 13 on the B string. Now I'm using my um, my little finger for this. Uh, I guess you could use your ring as well. I don't know, um, but it makes it easier because I then use my ring finger on the G on the G string. Um, so 13 on the B, and then what we're doing is we're pre-bending from 13 on the G string down to 12, and then 10 on the G to 12 on the D. Lick 8 um, is where we're playing uh, on the turnaround and it goes like this. Okay, and I'll try and take you, to, take you through that. So we start on 10 on the G string, bend up to 11, uh, sorry, hammer on to 11. Then we play 10 on the B and 10 on the top E. So, so far we've got this. Okay, the next part goes 13, 12, 10 on the B string. Then we've got 12 on the G, back to 10 on the B. So, so far we've got this. Okay, so then what we're doing is we're going 12 on the G to 10. Then we're um, playing 11 on the G. So um, that little piece goes like this. And then we're hitting 12 on the D and 12 on the A. Okay, there's a lot to take in there. Uh, check out the tab. Um, and the whole thing slow goes like this. And then up to speed. Okay, and that's the whole lesson. Um, eight licks uh, over an eight bar blues in the key of D. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please check out my other videos. Please check out my band. Um, and I'll see you again.